Electric vehicles, EVs, may soon become a thing of the past, thanks to Toyota's groundbreaking new engine technology. This innovative engine, which is unlike anything we've seen before, is being hailed as the most eco-friendly powertrain ever created. Get ready for a seismic shift in the automotive world as we delve into Toyota's revolutionary engine, one that could disrupt the entire EV market. Believe it or not, Toyota is developing a water-powered engine. This concept shares similarities with their fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, such as the Toyota Mirai, and hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, like the recently unveiled 1.6-liter hydrogen three-cylinder engine. Water-powered engines have long been a dream for the automotive industry, offering the promise of significant advantages over traditional engines and EVs. However, past attempts to create viable and reliable water-powered systems for everyday use have consistently fallen short. That's where Toyota's expertise comes into play. Unlike previous efforts, often developed on limited budgets and small workshops, Toyota brings substantial resources and the ability to rigorously test this technology under a wide range of conditions. So how does Toyota's water-powered engine work? The core mechanism is similar to an HHO generator but has been fine-tuned for practical use in vehicles. Much like the hydrogen combustion engine in the Toyota Yaris GRH2, this engine generates hydrogen on the go. Instead of relying on pre-processed hydrogen, it separates hydrogen from oxygen through a chemical reaction. Specifically, the engine utilizes the process of electrolysis to break down H2O, enabling it to create its own fuel source as it operates. When high voltages are emitted by the electrodes inside the water tank, the molecules of hydrogen and oxygen are separated. Since the hydrogen is stored within the water in the tank, there's no need for heavily armored and extremely heavy tanks, as required by FCEVs and hydrogen combustion engines. This is because isolating and storing pure hydrogen is exceptionally challenging. The process of powering the vehicle marks the similarities between hydrogen combustion engines and water engines. Once separated from oxygen, the hydrogen is directed to the engine, where it combusts in a manner similar to compressed natural gas. The engine's operation is largely comparable to CNG-powered systems. However, the fuel injectors must be adapted for compressed gas, and the cylinder heads, pistons, and valves must be reinforced, as hydrogen's high combustibility demands stronger components to handle its detonation. What are the long-term environmental benefits? First and foremost, it operates with nearly zero emissions, similar to electric vehicles, EVs, but with significantly greater convenience. In fact, it's arguably the most convenient engine type available. As long as diluted water is accessible, refueling is easy and almost cost-free. This technology could drastically reduce the need for oil extraction. If widely adopted, the only major sectors still relying on fossil fuels might be heavy machinery and large-scale power production. Moreover, it eliminates the need to extract rare metals, which is one of the most environmentally harmful processes in the automotive industry today. Mining rare metals directly contaminates water sources and degrades the surrounding soil, rendering nearby areas uninhabitable. When compared to hydrogen combustion engines and fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, also marketed as zero-emission technologies, water engines are even more advantageous. Water storage is straightforward and inexpensive, requiring minimal resources and infrastructure. In contrast, hydrogen storage demands complex conditions, higher costs, and poses greater environmental risks. Hydrogen, in its pure form, is a gas that is incredibly difficult to contain and can easily leak from a vehicle's tank if there are any imperfections. As a result, hydrogen tanks must be heavily reinforced, constantly monitored, and meticulously maintained. In contrast, the fuel tank for water-powered vehicles could theoretically be as simple as any plastic container. Additionally, storing hydrogen outside the vehicle poses significant challenges. It demands strict temperature control, complete immobility, and a tank that is virtually indestructible, all of which come with high costs. Distilled water, on the other hand, is easily accessible. It can be purchased at most supermarkets or even produced at home with basic chemistry knowledge. Moreover, obtaining pure hydrogen is an expensive process. Combined with the complexities and costs of storing the gas, this explains why hydrogen technology hasn't gained widespread adoption, and likely never will. 
The high production and storage costs drive up the consumer price, raising the question, why opt for hydrogen-powered vehicles when they are more expensive to purchase and operate than electric or fossil-fueled alternatives? While hydrogen-powered cars are environmentally friendly and conceptually straightforward to use, the real question is, are water engines practical for everyday use? Yes, they are. Contrary to popular belief, water-powered engines are far from being gutless. In fact, their performance is comparable to most gasoline engines, and theoretically, they can surpass traditional internal combustion engines by generating up to three times more energy in megajoules. Additionally, they are significantly safer than other engine types, as they do not require storing highly combustible fuels inside the vehicle. This eliminates concerns about the car catching fire or exploding like a mishap with fireworks. Moreover, water-powered engines are relatively easy to produce. Their mechanical design is only slightly more complex than that of gasoline engines, making them simpler and more affordable to manufacture than electric vehicles, EVs, or fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs. Given their practicality, they could be an excellent choice for motorizing less developed nations that lack oil resources. For instance, an Iranian scientist, Aladin Kasemi, successfully converted his Peugeot 4 Hode 5 to run on water, demonstrating the feasibility of this technology. He successfully converted his old car into a fully functional, technologically advanced water-powered vehicle. It's incredible to think about what Toyota could achieve with proper funding, Cuck especially if an individual working in a shed can create a daily drivable car powered by water. Water-powered engines are not only easier to produce, but they are also far more economical than both gasoline-powered vehicles and electric cars. For instance, Kissimmee's own 405 model averaged between 30 and 40 miles per gallon of water, an impressive feat considering the base petrol engine in the car could never achieve such efficiency. This suggests that, in theory, water-powered engines could exceed 80 miles per gallon without sacrificing power, making the cost of running these cars even lower than initially expected. However, with no mainstream versions of this engine and no other automakers actively developing this technology, we have to ask ourselves, could water-powered engines be the future of transportation? Hypothetically, water-powered engines could potentially be the future of transportation. However, the reality is more complex, as there are several challenges that water engines have faced in the past. First, logistical concerns come into play. While the infrastructure might require little to no change, the engine technology itself is still in its experimental phase. Many so-called functional prototypes have proven to be unreliable with limited practical use on a daily basis. Additionally, while using water as fuel might seem promising, the process of splitting it into hydrogen and oxygen raises serious safety concerns. As mentioned, hydrogen is notoriously difficult to contain, and even a small leak could lead to dangerous or even fatal consequences. Moreover, even if a company like Toyota were to develop a safe and reliable water-powered vehicle, there's a risk that it could face opposition from powerful industries, such as lithium mining, battery production, and especially the oil sector. By using water as a fuel, we could nearly eliminate the reliance on fossil fuels in everyday life, significantly reducing the need for mining rare and expensive elements like cobalt. Lithium, a key material for current technologies, would face severe disruption, potentially leading to the collapse of some of the world's most profitable companies, such as Rio Tinto. These companies would undoubtedly take aggressive measures to prevent the further development of such engines. Skeptical? There are even rumors suggesting that around 25 years ago, they might have interfered with the first fully functional water-powered car. Stanley Allen Meyer, the car's inventor, claimed that both he and his brother were constantly threatened by individuals likely linked to oil companies that felt threatened by the prospect of widespread adoption of water-powered engines. Meyer was even offered millions of dollars to destroy his car and its plans and to remain silent. Despite this, Meyer remained resolute, continuing to speak out against the power of the oil industry. One evening, while dining with two Belgian businessmen who had expressed interest in his work, Meyer suddenly rushed out of the restaurant, clutching his throat. His brother, who was with him at the time, immediately followed. 
Later, he told the press that Stanley had accused the businessman of poisoning him before he passed away. However, official reports state that his death was due to a brain aneurysm. The circumstances surrounding his death remain controversial, especially since, just days after his passing, his car and the engine plans were stolen. <laughs>